Gary is one of the country's best young anglers, with an enviable list of huge fish already to his name. Come down to see Gary Newman now, who's fishing on the old lake, and it's a, a fantastic spot he's picked here. It's right at the end of the lake, near the, the outlet sluice, and we're surrounded by beds of pads and reed beds here, and there's, there's, I can see a few fish on the top already. It's a cracking looking spot here, Gary. Oh, it looks it? really nice. There's been a few fish fizzing already as well, so Is it's, it really? yeah, looking good, yeah. yeah. It's a absolutely classic looking tench swim, this, and you know, at the moment, that's certainly what you're best known for, and you're going having a cracking season on the tench. Yeah, it's been going really well so far, yeah. yeah, yeah what, getting... what have you had this year? Uh, up to 14 doubles so far. No since... way, that's just unbelievable. That's just mind-blowing, well, isn't it? I can't quite believe it myself. <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> Must be the best best year's tench fishing ever, that. Quite possibly, yeah. I've not heard of any, not heard of better, but... Yeah, but yeah, you're, you're not just you a tench know. angler, though, are you? You fish for all sorts through the course of the year. Fish for pretty much everything, sort of both, well, both this country and overseas as well. Yeah, right. excellent. So. What made you put, sort of pick this end of the lake this morning? Did you see fish moving down here, or was it just the look of the swim? It looked really nice. It's sort of out of the way, away from where, like, away from the car park. Yeah. So you haven't got loads of people fishing it, probably, because it's a bit of a walk. Um, looks really nice with all the lily pad beds. Uh, gives the tent a bit of cover yeah. to sit in, uh, especially once the sun gets up a bit later today. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it looks, looks nice. So you said you've seen a few fish bubbling down here, Gary, already. What sort of bubbles are you looking for? Uh, looking for the real sort of pinhead, One's uh, patches of them rather than the larger bubbles. Um, the pinhead ones do tend to be the tench, um, right. whereas a carp moving about, they sort of give off the bigger bubbles or yeah. you get them disturbing the bottom. Yeah, I you guess get... this being in the state lake as well, it's quite silty, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, I mean, you're getting streams of bubbles coming up just where they're moving through the silt and disturbing gas, um, yeah. but they tend to pop a lot quicker than right. the oh, tench right. bubbles. I've never, never cottoned onto that before. Yeah, you get like the fizzies and they do tend to hang around a bit longer, whereas the gas pops fairly, fairly oh, right. quickly. Right. Are you fishing the same sort of features that you normally would? I mean, you, most of your big tents are coming from gravel pits rather than this estate lake type type setting, aren't they? Is, or is it totally different? Yeah, it is totally different. I mean, this is sort of silty, fair, a lot shallower than what I'm used to as right. well. Um, and I'm expecting sort of action probably early morning on this sort of water, whereas yeah. the gravel pits, um, the f fish are moving about a lot more during the day. They've got the bars to travel up and down yeah. um, and various humps and bumps that they can move around um, and sort of any time during the day really. Hmm. Um, you can be sat there on the brightest, sunniest day and you'll be getting takes. Right. As long as, as long as you've got a bit of ripple on the water. If yeah. it's flat calm it tends not to tends yeah, not to not fish so well. well. Yeah. Like most places I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got yeah, as long as you've got a ripple though, they, they do still carry on feeding sort of throughout the day. So. so on the gravel pits, Gary, that you normally fish, what sort of features are you looking for to fish to? Uh, trying to find gravel bars, anything really that the fish are going to move up and down, yeah. uh, a bit of a patrol route. Um, you can find a higher points on the bars where it's shallower on top or any breaks in the bars. Um, yeah. it, they tend to funnel the fish yeah. through onto your spot I sometimes. Guess the, the fish will often try and move through bars, wouldn't they? And they'll look for those slight depressions in them. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. That's where they move across. If you can it? find ends of bars are always good because you're getting the fish from both coming up the near side of the bar and the far side of the right. bar. They sort of okay, concentrate right. on the end. Yeah. Um, also looking for trying to find siltweed rather than fishing on just sort of smooth gravel, clean gravel bottom. Right. Um, yeah. Because the tench, they do like to browse around quite mm. a bit. Um, so trying to locate siltweed and finding the fresh, fresher green stuff really. Right. Um, yeah. So quite often put a bit of line and a hook on actually on the marker set up, just right. coming off the lead, so when you are yeah. dragging back, you can reel in and see see what the weed's like. If it's yeah. black, horrible, dead stuff, you Gunky don't want to fish in it. Yeah. If it's the real green, yeah, the fresh stuff that smells nice, then mm, that's, the place that's to perfect, really. 